for the first evening of the hunt. I was seated in a pop-up blind in an area that was known to be frequented by Audad. An afternoon rainfall didn't keep the Audad from coming in, but I noticed that this group was nothing but ewes and lambs. but this big guy suddenly appeared out of nowhere and it changed everything. good hour since I stuck that big boy and uh, we've got a good blood trail here is part of the arrow we haven't found the rest of the arrow but there's part of it right there uh, he's starting to bleed now at a, both sides so that's a good thing he's gonna leak out both sides all dead sheep are tough animals I mean they are they're from the they're actually called Barbary sheep and they are short-haired and they are some kind of tough animals and although I've waited an hour, I'm telling you right now, he went down in the worst place you could ever imagine. There's a gigantic cliff right there. So we're gonna follow this blood trail and he's going right towards that cliff. So wish us luck. Oh, there's a ton of blood right here. See, he's going up both sides. That's a good thing, two holes in him. Oh boy. Boy, he's spewing right now. There's the Luminoc right there. Look at that. I'm gonna have to set the crossbow down. I mean, he is, the Luminoc is right there. He came over this little fence right here. And I mean, there is a straight drop off, sheer drop off. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do right now. I am going to go down there, see what I have. Y'all wanna come on, come on. I may need a rope to get down here. This is gonna be ugly. Holy smokes. I cannot believe there's blood all over here too. I mean, he came straight off this cliff. This is a beautiful old sheep. 
This is a really nice one. I mean, he's got he's got a nice mane. He's got beautiful chaps, and uh, he wound up. I don't know how I'm going to get him out of here, but we're gonna we got a work cut out for us.